I got to say, for me personally, the most interesting aspect of this whole interaction is that I was not really aware of the whole Reiki world until really kind of digging more into your website. And I certainly had heard the term, um, but I watched a number of interviews with your past guests talking about Reiki and certainly how passionately you are about energy healing. And that's a very novel concept for me. I have not well maneuvered that at all. Yeah. So, I mean, Reiki is found in a whole lot of hospitals, like all over the place, um, whether it's a formal department or a informal department, it's, it's done like e even here, you know, the, e the East coast is not known for um, having a lot of uh, metaphysical mo modalities. You go to the West coast and you're going to find more of it. A lot but more. that being said, you're going to, you, you find Reiki at, I mean, my first, uh, my Reiki master worked at Hopkins on a very regular basis. There's a whole department of pediatrics um, at Hopkins. Um, my old broker's wife worked in this division and they've been able to cut. Um, she said that they were able to cut medication in children by 50% because of the energy work that they're using on the children. And, you know, the children, they don't go in with a preconceived idea of like, oh, this is going to work. So there's, there's, sure little to no placebo effect taking place there. Right. Um, that being said, they do have more open minds. Um, so, but yeah, so Hopkins has a, a couple different departments that in, encourage that sort of thing. I mean, Maryland, of course. And I mean, it's just, it's everywhere. It, it really is. And it's growing, it's growing quick. Reiki is where acupuncture was 20 years ago, um, right. in my opinion, right? And no, acupuncture was, seems to work. Was, I mean, and it, it works on the energetic body, the same as Reiki. It's just Reiki's a little bit more bizarre because there's not a whole lot of physical stuff taking place with Reiki. I mean, is in there a sense, well, there doesn't have to be. I mean, what I I personally like it when you're right there face to face and you could put your hand on their knee or their ankle or their head or you know wherever they're having issues. Um, but I mean. It's jaw dropping how well remote therapy works. In fact, great, um, a number of Reiki practitioners that I um, that I talk to, they actually prefer that because it seems to be even more effective when it's done in a remote setting. Which you know that's so hard to get the mind around. But is that quantum mechanics? The like quantum physics, whatever that means. Right. <laughs> but sure. I mean, that was a clarifying term. Which you're right. Not. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So, yes, it is based around quantum physics and it is on some level proven that thoughts are things and it, it, it all, you know, I can affect something here. And at the same time, somehow it's attached on the other side of the earth and with intention and it can affect that. Um, sure. and, and there are scientific studies and it's all proven in some weird, crazy way that I couldn't possibly comprehend. But I, I will tell you that um, when I get treatments, I can tell you where they're working. I mean, if they're working on my yeah. foot, I can be like, are you working on my foot? They'll be like, I am working on your foot. I'm like, I can feel you working on my foot, <laughs> you know? And so it's just, sure. it's, and, and that was not, you know, you take it a step further. There's, you know, there's plenty of people that believe in that sort of thing. And I was one of the people that did not believe in that sort of thing. None of that sort of thing. Um, and I think that's why I'm doing this now is because it's so curious to me. I was so much uh, against that whole idea of um, conscious connection or quantum physics connection sure. and whether it be energy work or, you know, connecting to the universal consciousness, you know, that, uh, you know, intuitives or psychics claim to connect with. There's a lot of stuff out there we just don't understand. And, you know, I, I see firsthand how this works and it's just baffling to me. And I'm totally, completely intrigued by it, fascinated by it. Sure. And I'm like, I'm going to, I'm going to do this, <laughs> you know? So, and, and that's why I do it because I'm completely fascinated by it. Um, but getting back to like uh, medicine and Reiki. So for a short while I, I dated this young lady and she was studying um, and actually is finishing things up. She's studying to be a nurse. And I mean, she, she has had acupuncture 
and it's worked for her. So she's not completely shut off to this sort of realm. But, uh, you know, one day she, you know, was texting me. She goes, I, I feel like crap. I have, I have a headache. And I, you know, texted her back. I said, you want me to send you some en- energy? I could send you some Reiki or whatever. And she's like, well, I, I believe in Western medicine. I'm like, that's, I'm glad you believe in Western medicine. I, I also believe in Western medicine. Would you like me to send you some energy? <laughs> <laughs> she's sure. like, sure, sure. And um, you know, after about five or 10 minutes, he texted me back and she's like, I can feel it. She says, what's, she says, I get a certain sensation in my belly. And she listed out, you know, the number of ways she feels this. And she goes, when I feel that when I'm getting acupuncture, I've asked my acupuncturist why I'm getting this, this sensation. My acupuncturist is like, well, this is the energy that you're feeling run in your body. And it's like opening you up and so forth and so on. And she's like, I'm getting that right now as if I were getting acupuncture. And I'm like, well, like I was saying, it's, it's kind of the same ball of wax. Acupuncture works on your, your, your energetic body. Um, right. And so does Reiki. But, but think about this. You know, you are feeling my intentions. I'm in Baltimore. You're in Annapolis. You are feeling my intention. You know, all the good, warm, gooey stuff. I'm trying to send it your way to make you feel better. And right. you actually now feel better and you can feel the energy flowing in your body. She said, yeah, absolutely. And uh, she was blown away by it about a month and a half, two months later, she got Reiki attuned. No, now, now what does that mean? Oh, Reiki attuned. Um, it, so, so you can receive energy, right? Um, uh, you can receive Reiki, but to give Reiki, there's like a, a little, um, initiation i guess you could call it for mm-hmm. reiki and it kind of opens you up to so more energy somehow is allowed to enter the body pass through the body to whoever you're working on because we all could flow energy we all have this energy when you get reiki attuned somehow it just allows a little bit more energy to enter the that's the way it was kind of described to me to enter the body and with each attunement a little bit more and and the more you practice it like any muscle you get a little stronger in that regard a little more strong strong, stronger. And then you could just kind of flow energy very easily because it's practice, uh, whether you, sure. you want to refer to it as attention or what, but um, it's, it's an attunement. It's a um, uh, initiation sort of thing. So okay. she had this initiation done. And now when she works with her um, uh, cl- uh, patients, clients, friends, family, she often, you know, does the energy work. And, and I just think it's so great that, you know, I've been able to help influence this nurse that's going to be helping these people. And now this nurse is not only going to talk about, you know, what medication can be given to them to help out or exercises or treatments or whatever, but she also can help broaden their, um, their awareness in terms of energy medicine or letting the energy flow or, You know, it's just kind of another holistic practice that they can um, they can undertake for their their well being, and I I just think that's so important. And you know, that's one person that I interacted with that's going to interact with hundreds or even thousands of patients, and and help to open them up to the idea of you know maybe if it's just kind of like mind body spirit, but it's something. It's it's a a lesson that I feel is important. And that's why I'm doing this. And it adds a degree of legitimacy, having an actual healthcare uh, practitioner in the Western model, be the one to tell you about it. Yes. You know, it's a, uh, it certainly wouldn't blow my hair back as much if I went to no disrespect, but like yeah, a, a gypsy. <laughs> gypsy and was yeah. told this versus, you know, a general practitioner. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's why I have both of them on here. I mean, I have people that are very woo-woo, and that's great. They're artsy. That appeals to a certain group. Um, most of my friends are, you know, uh, engineers, attorneys, doctors, nurses, whatever, and that doesn't appeal uh, appeal to them, and they want to go to someone with some sort of certification that says that they're, they kind of know what they're talking about in the health practice in, in that right. regard. And... Um, 
I mean, that's why I think it's so fantastic that, I mean, Reiki is being taught in, in many of these nurse classes. I mean, she's, she's now taking a lot of holistic practices. There's uh, a other video I did where the nurse, she works in a hospice. I mean, she took classes, um, energy work, um, when she was studying, you know, training to be a nurse. Wow. Um, so it's becoming more and more present because it works. Sure. Um, yeah. I think it's very weird. I don't understand it. I have a hard time getting my head around it, but I, I feel it. I know it works and it can make you feel a whole lot better. And for the typical um, uh, med student or doctor or a nurse or, or a medical practitioner to be able to now embrace that and pass that message along, I think is is very important. Couldn't agree more. <laughs>